Hello everyone, thank you all for coming to my channel. My name is Ariana Marche. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you back again, what's up girl? Today we are back with another Divine Goddess video where I help guide you through life and all its dilemmas. Today's topic is gonna be navigating dilemmas in the workplace. And this video will be good for my young girlies, anybody that's in high school and getting their first job or just stepping into, you know, the workplace, or even if you're already working and you kind of facing some things like these bullet points, I have seven of them, they will really be able to help you all. And I mean, anybody from like a corporate level all the way down to fast food, it really don't matter because the truth of it all is, is that we face we face these issues in any type of job. People like to stress to you when you're young and still in school that, oh, the real world is like this. And, you know, when you're young, they scare you and make it seem like the grown up world is just this big world and everybody acts so prestige and like good adults. I mean, that's how they would want you to act but that is honestly not the reality of it when you get into these places i don't care whether it's fast food or way up the corporate ladder you're gonna find that some people are very much still childish um people are very much still gossiping and it's it's almost like one big high school sometimes one big college let me say one big college because you know you got everybody everywhere and they kind of just doing their own thing in their own areas, but it still can get a little sticky sometimes. So these bullet points are going to be able to help you no matter what area or professional field you're in. But with all that being said, we're just going to go ahead and hop into it with number one. Keep your conversations surface level. Do not discuss other coworkers team leads, management, your boss, or any type of dislike, disdain, issues, whatever that you may have with them. You keep it to yourself. If you are not going to go, if it's not a big enough issue, first of all, it really don't matter. You can keep that to yourself. But if it is something that you may feel like, okay, it can be an issue later on, then you need to take that up to someone and discuss that. But other than that, don't discuss people on your job. Don't gossip and don't stand around with people who are gossiping about other people on the job. I don't care if you're not saying anything. Don't be around it because you somebody else may overhear it. And just because you're standing right there with it, they may think that you're a part of the conversation. And let's say that they take that back and tell someone and they say, well, yeah, such and such and such and such was saying this. But yeah, such and such was right there standing there listening. Woo, woo, woo. You may have not said anything and they may have not even heard you say anything. But because you were right there and around there will be some people who may just try to bring your name into it just because you were standing there. Or they may think because you are there and you're listening, you had to have something to say. So when they report it and your name is in it, now you're in trouble the whole time. And you wasn't even saying nothing, you know. So e even if you're not saying nothing, don't be around it. And if you do have issues with anything or people, it's, it's just not to be discussed. And if it's not a big enough problem... I just say pick and choose your battles and just let it fly. Um, and what you will find out that if you do speak on it, things that you say can or will be used against you. So like I said, just don't. And another thing as far as um, saying less than necessary, don't discuss your personal life. I know a lot of us are oversharers. We go places, some of us are just, I mean, may not even just be overshare, it's just maybe very friendly. And you think that people are your friends very easily just because y'all had one or two conversations and y'all seem to have a lot in common. Do not discuss your personal life. I don't care how cool you think this person is or how much y'all, how much you think y'all may have in common, anything. Do not discuss what goes on in your personal life, whether it's your relationship or anything, your family issues, what you like to do on the weekends or any type of, you know, 
quirky things you may don't discuss none of that they don't need to know that it's not their business and like i said anything that you say can and will be used against you it's just not in business taste to be doing those things because you'll find as as i get on into this video that like i said people can be very grimy and like i said it's just not none of their business period point blank so if you are an oversharer and you just tend to get into your whole life story just randomly when talking to people work is not the place to trauma dump or trauma bond at that and you'll find that some people really don't care and some people may use that information to sabotage you so if you're an oversharer i highly suggest that you work on that just say as less as you possibly can if it's not anything directly related to the job or how you can be better at your job or get the job done you honestly don't too much need to be saying anything and if you are it's just a, a simple conversation oh like hey bob did you watch the football game did you like it oh okay cool what team did you go for oh, okay wow going on about your business that surface level it, it, it shouldn't be that big of a deal now you may have some immature people i could i use that topic as an example but you have some people that are diehard sports fans and they may well my team is so even that can turn into something. So even some surface level conversations can't even be had if you're not really that mature. But for the most part, I don't think it's that extreme, especially like in the workplace. So for the most part, you'll be all right. But as I said, your personal life, it don't need to be discussed. And other coworkers or your dislikes about the job, anything that don't need to be discussed if it's not a big issue just pick and choose your battle point number two do not discuss your pay do not discuss your pay because what you may find is that you may be getting paid more than others or you may be getting underpaid you know now what you may find is that you may have a degree and that may have qualified you for a higher pay. You may just have connections and know people that can get you on and get you a higher pay. Cool. And also, you just may have the experience. And so because you have X amount of years and time in this field, they may feel like you qualify for a higher pay. And not even that. I've had situations myself where I just went in not only did I ace the interview, but I also asked for the higher pay. You know, did I have experience? Yes, but their standard pay was just only X amount of dollars. But because I know my worth and I believe that I can get more, or I should be getting more, whatever. I mean, not to say I'm cocky or anything, but, you know, I, I feel like um, if you don't ask for anything out of life, you're not going to get it. And if you don't believe you can, then you're definitely you know, not going to get it. And so I asked for it and I actually did receive that. And like I said, because I aced the interview, um, the lady that interviewed me, she was like, you know, usually I really can't do this, but because I believe in you, the way that you presented yourself in the interview and the way that you answered the questions, I don't mind risking that for you. So you never know. And like I said, that's it's not to be discussed because it can make the environment a little hostile because i've been on both sides of the fence where i've been the one underpaid and not getting paid as much as my co-workers and i've been the one that's been overpaid and i've been making more than my co-workers and mind you we're in the same position um there was a time i was working and mind you this was when i was younger too so when you're young in the workplace when you're just starting out with nine times out of 10 and maybe fast food, or even if you go to maybe like a little corporate job or just warehouse, anything, when they see that you're younger and you don't too, you don't really know much and they can sense that they are gonna take full advantage of that. Now, will everyone do that? No, you will have some people that will really give you the game, tell you how things go and things like that and that's fine but that's also why you should be asking questions and whenever they give you your employee handbooks make sure that y'all are reading those and knowing how often you're supposed to get your raises or you can get raises or just anything make sure that y'all are reading into looking into that and asking questions but um 
as I was saying, like I was the one being underpaid. And like I said, they will take advantage of that if you do not know. And there was a time where we were discussing pay and I'm like, now anybody knows, like if you black, we be trying to calculate our paychecks, you know, a little off topic, but we be trying to calculate our paychecks when we first get to the job. Like, oh, how much was your uh, check? And then, you know, we calculate our hours and, you know, how much we putting in and depending on your state, how much the state tax is going to take out so we can know what that first check going to look like. And so there was a little something that I was doing. So I asked him, I was like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. And I told him, well, like, y'all checks this much and we got the same amount of hours i'm like oh well yeah woo 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 and you know i'm making 11 right now and they all look at me 11 11 like no nah, we we making 13 50 and woo 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 mind you same position everything and um you know i'm kind of like oh really so i'm looking at the bosses a little different now because why they get that much and mind you we all got experience you know what i'm saying so what what's the difference but me being young i was only like 18 19 at the time probably like my second third job don't really know too much and um so i learned that day okay cool and but it'll it, it creates that hostile environment because now i'm looking at the bosses i don't even want to come to work and work as hard anymore because baby y'all breadcrumbing me like y'all i just felt for one embarrassed and two like i said i felt breadcrumbed and took advantage of because i was young and since i had already been at the job i really didn't too much say nothing i didn't really try to fight for it i was just like whatever but um yeah don't do that and sometimes it'll give they don't make co-workers feel like they have the advantage over you like oh well you ain't making much and you know, I can I can talk to you like I'm a lead or something now. Anything like that. Like I said, it just it creates the hostile environment. It's crazy. And I've also been on another side of the fence where I told y'all I was the co-worker making more. Um, ended up in the middle of a conversation with another employee. And this was the job that I asked for the higher pay and discussing paychecks. He was like, yeah, my paycheck, this, this, that, and the fifth and woo woo. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, mine was this. And it was like, how are your checks that be? And I'm just like, uh, I'm like, shoot. And it was like, because, yeah, this job only pay such and such. And we usually work the same amount of hours. So how was your check that big? And I'm like, I'm thinking quick on my toes now because that old situation came back to mind. You know, just don't even discuss the pay because I could tell that they was not paying him as much as me. Because I think the standard for that job was maybe like $11, $12 an hour and I was making like 14 as uh, as just a regular team member. So I'm almost making like lead and manager pay. So I'm just thinking quick on my toes. I'm like, oh, well, you know, I did have to put in extra hours and they was calling me in on, on my off days, stuff like that. And I think like one day I pulled a double two, they was like, oh yeah, well that makes sense. You know, I'm just having to be like, oh, like think quick on my toes about that because I'm like, dang, like I've been that person before. so. I know how that feels. I don't want to step on nobody's toes. And I still didn't tell them, you know, what my pay was. But please do not discuss your pay or even what your checks look like. Don't do none of it. Period. Point blank. And I remember watching um, a video of Kelly Stamps. It's one of my favorite YouTubers. Love her. If you see this. Mm -hmm. um, I was watching her video and she was talking about how she was working in a serving job in New York and she was telling about a co-worker that she had I'm gonna try to find the video and leave it right here so y'all can see like a deep in detail or another example as to why not to do that but she was basically kind of saying just to sum it up how she was um talking with someone and she accidentally you know said what her pay was and things about that things of that nature and the girl just flew off the handle. She was like, why is she making this much? Like she literally made a big scene because she felt like, well, she had a degree and she was more qualified and X, Y, Z. She felt like, how is she making this much? And I'm not. And she flew off the handle, made it a very big deal, like right there in the moment and ended up quitting the job. So again, last time I'm saying it, 
don't discuss your pay don't discuss your checks that is what is the word um oh my god i can't think of it either way it go that is concealed top secret information you got to treat that like it's top secret like you got to treat that like it's the Krabby Patty formula, baby. In other words, that's a good example. Treat treat your pay and, and things like that like it's the Krabby Patty formula. Can't nobody see it. Can't nobody find it out. You're the only one that know. You and your boss, that's it. You and your bank account, that's it. You and the Lord, that's it. Don't nobody else need to know what your pay is and what them checks looking like. Your pay is the Krabby Patty formula, baby period number three do not discuss or disclose that you are applying for or a possible promotion you do not need to tell people that you are applying for an open position that's higher up with a higher pay and if your bosses have decided that oh you know what you're a good worker i, I see you around the the building you're always on time you know, just commending you for your work performance. And they, they let you know, like, hey, you know, we're thinking about giving you this position. It may be opening up soon. We're not really going to disclose it to everyone because we're thinking about just going ahead and giving it to you. Do not open your mouth about that. Those things, again, are the Krabby Patty formula. Nobody needs to know it. Leave it between you and them. That's it. And if you apply and you want to do something, don't even go talk to the higher ups about it. Don't even too much. If you want to ask questions and know about the position, that's fine. But don't give off the, I, I want to apply. Don't give off that vibe. Just, oh, this is what they do. Okay, cool. And go on and you never speak on it again because it's completely fine to want to ask questions and just know. But if you know in your heart, like, okay, I want to go apply or I'm trying to move up in the ladder of this job or my profession. Keep that between yourself because sometimes even the higher ups, you have some higher ups that, and this is for a later point as well, but they did the unthinkable, the unspeakable to get up in their positions. And a lot of them are very competitive. The workplace can become very competitive because I mean, People got bills to pay. People, you know, it's, it's just so many reasons that they get like that. And it can get very cutthroat and mm, disrespectful. People, it, it, it can make them lose their, their humanness, their heart, their compassion. Like, like I said, people be having bills to pay and everything else going on. So they have reasons to want to climb the corporate ladder not even and i i hate i don't want to make it seem like it's just a nasty thing because i mean sometimes people just aspire to be more and that's completely okay but whom much is required you know much as much as as much is required y'all know how to say and go and i mean you you have to when you work to get things you have to work to keep them and that's understandable so we're not gonna knock nobody for wanting to keep their position because they worked for that but you know it can become hostile and um sometimes if people in the higher up position find out that you're trying to get into you know a different position it could be in a position that they in or that they work closely with they may try to sabotage you out of that too people will block your blessings so i, I don't care even if it is a higher up that you want to talk to about being in a better position wait a little bit if you believe in the lord Pray about it first before you just kind of go and start talking about it and running your mouth. And definitely don't discuss it to just other random co-workers. Keep that to yourself because people will trick you out of your spot faster than a heartbeat. And number four, beware of energies that float around the workplace. And what that means is, I mean, there's different type of people from different type of backgrounds that are battling different type of demons. You have some people that will butt kiss the boss to get to the top. You have some people that will throw you under the bus to get to the top. You have some people that gossip around the workplace. Some people that date around the workplace. It's, it's just so many things that you kind of deal with. You have some managers that are higher up and that are 
lazy and i know i don't want this to be like this doomsday only the bad but you know this is just talking about the issues of it because i mean if everything was so peaches and cream i mean i wouldn't even need to make this video but that's why i'm saying like there are different type of energies around the workplace you're gonna have some managers and bosses they're never nowhere to be found they don't really do too much about any of the issues because i know some jobs have where you know they have boards or they take um what is it called the um employee surveys where you can give your feedback about the job and what you like they so they have things put in place um from what i was saying about point number one like don't discuss anything that you don't like about the job those are the opportunities that you can go and do those things when they have like employee surveys and things like that and you can discuss and honestly answer you know how you feel about them now those things should be confidential i have heard um things where they have not been so if you do answer honestly keep it professional if they do give y'all a choice to type in and say what you want to say keep it professional keep it cute keep it classy whatever but you know answer them honestly they need to know these things to make the environment more um conducive you know um but yeah um you also have people that will be your friend in your face and that's why i say say as less as possible because some people will be your friend talk discuss woo 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 and like i said you should be gossiping but if you are you know people take things about it even if it's not conversations or just things to do with the workplace you'll have people that'll be your friend in your face and they're running it down to everybody else or taking it to the bosses to disqualify you from that position that you may get or if you're making employee of the month they're just gonna find things to try to disqualify you or credit you like there's so many different type of energies around the workplace so just beware of the people you know there may just be trauma dumpers you know anything just be aware of those people and just kind of stay away just know that you can find really good friends in the workplace i'm not saying again like this is some doomsday thing and everything is just negative like you very well can find good people that you will be locked in with and these are gonna be your buds for life but it's all the time not that often and still you should be careful and which that's gonna tie in into a later point but Again, like I said, just just be careful, pay attention and know what people if you don't have to work directly with them or have to directly talk to them or anything, pay attention and just stay away. That would be my advice. Just kind of stay back. And if you do have to interact with them, keep it at a professional level. Say less is necessary. Only discuss the job and go. That's it. Number five, keep advice or things that you get from co-workers to a minimum and what i mean about that is if you have any questions now don't be a bugaboo you kind of have to pick and choose but any just certain questions or things you should know unless it's like something very small that you don't have to go and bug leads or managers about you know you can ask just a regular other co-worker but if not i would say go to leads managers or whoever's in charge instead and i say that because i've had situations and i know people who have had situations where they have had other co-workers purposely mislead them for sometimes no reason at all or to trick them out of a spot or if they had opened their mouth about applying for a position or just anything sometimes they may do it with no for no reason they just can be grimy like that but purposely misled them gave them misinformation and things so sometimes that's why i say in interviews or anything write down questions that you may have about the particular job and if you're trying to move up or anything nine times out of ten the people that interview you if you are more than likely like in a corporate um setting the people that interview you are really not going to be the people that really um work closely with you or are the ones that are in charge of doing the promoting and things so if you're more on the corporate side rather than like fast food or restaurants or anything like that I would highly suggest you have those type of questions ready in interviews and things like that. 
and just other small questions. If it can be asked the coworkers and you feel like it's not that big of a deal where they may purposely, no reason at all or anything, give you the wrong information, then go ahead and ask. But other than that, don't be a bugaboo about it. If, if it ain't really something that I guess you could feel like can be used with common sense knowledge, then go and ask the higher up, somebody in a higher position, if not a coworker. I have been in situations and know people who have been in situations where coworkers have just purposely and no reason at all just gave out the wrong information, knowing that they gave out the wrong information because when it the situation had to be taken to a higher up in the job, they said out of their own mouth, like this person knows that for a fact. I don't know why they would tell you X, Y, and Z or have you doing X, Y, and Z when they know this and they've been here long enough to know this. So that's what I say. It goes into just people trying to sabotage and being aware of certain energies and people in the workplace. Like I know a lot of this stuff seems very petty, but like I said in the beginning of this video, because this is more so, I guess, for the young girlies that's kind of moving up or people that's getting their first jobs or things like that. It's, it's, it's like one big school. It's, it's still very much, it gives childish sometimes. It gives very childish. Look at my little phone. But yeah, it gives very childish sometimes. So like I said, just be careful and watch out for those things. Um... But just keep it to a minimum. I've had situations where I don't remember the exact details, but I know it was something that I was trying to figure out. And I just went to go ask a coworker instead because I thought me and her was, you know, pretty cool and okay. And this girl was running me down behind my back and she purposely gave me the wrong information, which I ended up being tricked out of a spot because of that. So like I said, be careful. Number six, this kind of has to be one of the biggest, most important ones besides like don't discuss your pay and things like that. This, this got to be the top. I didn't really put these in no particular order, but this one, if y'all don't hear me on none of these other ones, on none of these other ones, please. Please hear me on this one, y'all. So, that being said, number six, do not, do not date or even go out with other co-workers. Do not date or go out with your co-workers. Do not date or go out with your co or don't we got to make that a little jingle and we need to put that in all workplaces uh in the words of the old folks don't get your honey where you make your money don't get your honey where you make your money like y'all for real Hmm. <sighs> i'm gonna try to break this down as much as possible from my own experience stuff i've seen other people go through or just things i've seen just in the workplace you know just based off of this but y'all please don't please don't please don't please don't i have seen okay so i'm more of a warehouse type of girl i kind of like warehouse jobs i'm not too much of a corporate call center because i like to move around i'm very active like i, I don't want to sit down and talk to people all day i want you to train me on my job and I want to go on about my business. So shout out to the warehouses. But child, being in warehouses, you will find, especially if, if they, how can I word these things and keep it cute? Bro, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't care. So there are some warehouses like around where I'm from. I have worked in some warehouses where they are predominantly us and things get a little messy. Things get a little sticky because it's younger people, but it'd be the old people too. It'd be the older people too. And mind y'all, this is just an example. This is not to issue on my people. I love my people. I don't play that, but it, it's 
just an example so please don't be offended but y'all i was working in a warehouse it was mainly predominantly us as the workers of course and there was uh, some of us that was in leadership positions but not the ones that was in charge of hiring firing and doing all of that and you find a lot of dating around sleeping with co-workers and i say don't do that or i mean and mind y'all when i started this job you know it's bad if they have to tell you in orientation, don't date your coworkers and don't don't do this and don't do it. I feel like that that should be kinda a known. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling y'all, we had a whole presentation when we was in orientation. We had a whole presentation and going down, so you could tell that they were speaking off experiences that happened like actually in the warehouse. I'm talking y'all like they up her yes. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. yeah and, and if this happens just y'all please please like they it was almost like they was begging like please like and that's crazy because you could tell that these was real experiences so like i said they had a whole slide on that and also just being in confrontation guess so if if anything that you don't like or you know you're you're having a spat or squabble please do not call them out of their name like in the workplace, you would think that these things are kind of like, you know, we know these things. But sometimes you'll be surprised. Some people, and let me not act like it's just common knowledge because even though it should be, some people still use the job as a dating pool. And that's ridiculous to me. And I, I know people going to be in the comments, oh, but there are some situations where people have found a love of their life and were okay, cool. All the time, they don't work. And everybody don't everybody ain't looking for something serious especially from the workplace so for the exceptions to the rule where it worked out okay cool but this ain't what we talking about um but yeah um they you know don't call nobody out of their name if you're having issues like just find someone to talk to it was just so much that they was having to say and i should have known off jump to just stay away from that job but um there are situations where people think they may can get the pass or that they may be the exception to the rule because, oh, well, we in a different department or, you know, we going to keep it on the low. So ain't nobody got to know it don't work like that. Somebody's going to be talking. And just because you may not be, I'm going to use this example, but so you're in the warehouse, you know, you got guys, they be trying to hit on you, talk to you. If you work in warehouse, you already know how this go with the warehouse hoes and everything else and the you know how I go. You got guys that'll be trying to talk to you, hit on you, woo, 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 get your number, you know, let's let's go out for lunch and let's do this, woo, and hang out after work, all that stuff. And you may be thinking, okay, you know, I'm talking to him. He mine. We finna work on this and woo, 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 the whole time. Y'all already in different departments. So he got you in this department. He got Keisha in his department. And then he got Brittany over there in another department. And y'all just sitting one day and y'all over here and you may see him walking with a girl one day. Oh, who that? Like, so now you getting jealous and, and, and your feelings getting stirred up and all this extra crazy stuff. Or you may just overhear somebody like, yeah, I, I talked to such and such. And you who? But child, I'm telling y'all in warehouses, I done seen it all. I seen it all. And these women actually be up there fighting at the job for men. I'm like, what? Matter of fact, another warehouse that I worked at, Girl, they was, um, it was a girlfriend and a boyfriend. They worked together. And I guess some girl was trying to talk to the boyfriend or whatnot. And she found it out and, you know, whooped the girl. But joke's on you because you got fired. Your man's still up there. And, you know, that's boosting his little ego, especially if he was entertaining it enough to make her feel like she could do that. So y'all be careful. That's why it's, it's important not to do that because they don't be up there looking for nothing serious like as I told somebody else before, that trying to date in your, or let me just speak from this, trying to date in a warehouse setting, for men, it's like a twat buffet. No, I'm going to say something cleaner. Well, child, it's, it's like a twat buffet, baby. Like, all they just looking at the varieties, the flavors, this, they is not there looking to settle down. So, 
Y'all, please do not think that you're going to find your soulmate at work. There are exceptions to the rule where, yes, you can, but nine times out of ten, it don't work that way. And don't play yourself thinking that you the one and you different because truth is you can't predict the future and you may never know. I don't care how serious it may seem to be. Period, point blank. Uh, I just say, go there, focus on your money, honey. And don't focus on getting no honey where you get your money. That that's it. I, I have seen so much. I have seen so much, y'all. So do not be going to these places trying to find love. This this is not a dating, uh, a dating thing. So please, this is not speed dating. None of that. Keep it cute. Get your money. Get out. Get that bread. Get that bread. Then leave. Then leave. Get the bread, the bread, and then leave. Nothing else. You ain't going there for nothing else but your bread. Okay, baby? We finna start making these into jingles. Matter of fact, speaking of making these into jingles, while well, I was on TikTok one day, and they had a little uh, jingle. It says, I ain't gonna say the word, but I'm gonna see if I can find it uh, and insert it in. But they was like, don't F your co-workers. Hey, don't F your co-workers. And y'all know if you've been around for a long time, especially on Vine and all that, don't Drop that. Dun, dun, dun. I ain't going to sing because I ain't got time for you to try to copyright me and all that. But yeah, they had a jingle going like that. I say that's bad. That's bad that this stuff even has to be said and all of that. So, girl, yes, like I said, I don't seen it all. I have seen it all, girl, for real. Like, don't date. Don't date your co-workers. Um, child. And another thing with that, I almost forgot. You don't know who these people are outside of this job. And that's another reason. People are going to present themselves in a certain way in the work setting. So to an extent, they have to keep it professional anyways. But you know when somebody's trying to hit on you, let's be for real. But I mean, in that work setting, they have to be a certain way anyways. So you may be thinking that this is a great candidate. Like, whole time, let's say face masks. We all got face masks if we don't... I mean, we all have work face mask if we gonna keep it a book and that don't mean that you just horrible outside of the workplace but you know how to go and act in that setting um so yeah you may be thinking they're a good candidate just based off of a work mask and that's completely not the case you don't know if these people are married i was just talking to one of my homegirls the other day and she was telling me about one of her warehouse experiences where um she literally watched a man that was also trying to talk to her but again we don't get your money we you don't get your money where you, you don't try to go get your honey where you get your money and so of course she wasn't paying to do no mind but she just sat back and watched one day and if you do watch and pay attention you will find that these guys also be in other women's spaces and don't get me wrong because it ain't just me and you got warehouse women thoughts and stuff like that where you have some women that be married they selves and we're gonna get into that in just a second but let me finish this story but she was saying that she watched a guy who was trying to talk to her go talk to another woman he was a truck driver though so he came to the truck house with his truck and they was unloading his truck and you know whenever they at the pit stops a lot of the uh truck drivers would come in you know just mingle you know sit down eat whatnot all that crazy stuff he she watched him take off his wedding ring She watched this man take off his wedding ring. Go be all up in this woman's face, kick, kick, can. And then once they stopped talking, slipped it back on, got in his truck, pulled off. You don't know who these people are outside of work. You don't know if they have families. You don't know none of that. Especially because sneaky situations, like I just said. She watched this man pull off his wedding ring. If that ain't mind-blowing... It just, it's crazy. You don't know who these folks are. And a lot of people are not going to be honest about it. That goes into when you date somebody from work and they only call you when they in the car or on the move or out in public. They got, they got somebody at their house. They got a family, if not just a girlfriend or a wife or something and some kids. You don't know who these people are outside of that job. So just, just don't. And what type of investigation are you going to be doing? You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, it ain't even your business, to be honest, because you should not be dating them to begin with. So 
leave that alone. But on the flip side, because I'm not just going to talk about the men, because the warehouse women is, is just as bad, if not worse. Them women be married too. Only difference is with women, they don't have to be like men and be sneaky about it or take off the rings because men are men. They going to sleep with you if given the opportunity. Like, oh, you got a husband, but you want to creep? Okay, I'm down. And that's where all the work husband and the work wife come with. And child, I don't play that. So I, I, I don't, whether, whether you single or taken, but especially if you taken, you should not have no such thing as a work wife or a work husband. I don't play like that. And if you are, you got a significant other, you shouldn't either because those turn into real situations. But um, like I was saying, the women be just as bad, if not worse, because they don't necessarily have to hide the fact that they marry. Yeah, I'm married. I may be happy or unhappy. They just going to keep it real. But I'm looking for a little work shebang. And child, another thing that just came to my mind, folks will be sleeping with each other out in the work parking lot, baby, or going to hotels during the, the work uh the work breaking child they be going crazy folks be going crazy folks be going crazy so they they be doing it i've, I've heard of stories of people being caught i got a guy friend he's a security guard overnight and he be telling me stories about people that be coming up to the job with they booze and sleeping around in the cars and in the work shacks and uh, child people be going crazy you don't know these people don't do that i mean like i said women be just as worse they just don't have to hide it they can keep it real yeah i gotta do but hey what's up it's very seldom that you will find a dude that's like that because they know majority of most women are very still in touch with their emotions even if you did keep it honest with them you got women that's gone all right, when are you going to leave your wife for me? Like, child, you don't want to find yourself in that situation. Now you coming up to the workplace acting crazy. I've heard of situations where wives came to the husband's job to beat up a woman up there that he was sleeping. Don't date your co-workers. Don't date your co-workers, Okay. I'm just going to get off this topic now because it's too long, but I feel like y'all should get the point by now. Okay. But yeah. And on the other end of that, don't go out with your coworkers, whether it's male or female. Now going out for lunch and things like that. There are some situations where I, everything ain't a doomsday, like I said, but you can just, okay, go, you know, go to lunch. That's normal, but just hanging out in a different setting and bars and things. Me personally, I would not. There are some situations that works. And if y'all do that, that's y'all business for me. I'm not. I've only did that one time and I won't never again. You'll find that some people will take however you act outside of the job. That's why you have to be mindful of what I just said. You are in a work setting. So you have your work mask on. You're not going to act like how you would act with your friends outside of the job or, you know, how you would on a night out on the town or something like that. So when you... Take that mask off and you decide that you want to get comfortable with your coworkers outside of the job. It puts you in a different light. And whether you are somebody that acts decent or and, you know, can control your liquor or whatever, if y'all are in that setting, just anything they may. It could be anything about your personality that they may not like or anything and that may turn them off. They could take that back to the job. And now you're dealing with that at the job. They could be telling people, oh, yeah, he or she's a thought outside of the job or he or she cheats on his wife outside of the job or he or she gets sloppy, pissy, drunk, dancing on tables, dress flying up, panties and butt out or anything, y'all. <laughs> Anything can happen, and now you're dealing with that in the workplace. So please keep that stuff to a minimum. I would say don't go out with them. Just don't. Now, I mean, some workers go, you know, up to lunch on break altogether during the work hours. So you would know to still keep your work mask on. But um, other than that, that like what I just said, just going to lunch on your break with coworkers, that's fine because you know you still know to be professional but outside of like work hours and you know you ain't gonna be doing nothing work involved it's a saturday 
and you want to turn don't do it with co-workers i've had one time where i did that before and it was just very weird the girl was kind of she the vibes was a little off and not only that but she also invited um one of her friends and her friend gave off very much the energy of no new friends oh you heard this my friend and i don't if it's you and what you want with my friend like it was very childish very childish and she was being very rude and just these microaggressions the entire time and i'm just like you know what no and i forgot what happened because um it was something that they actually did where i was telling her i was gonna leave because of what she was doing and i did not like that and i guess because i spoke on it she felt the way but after that we never really spoke at work it was all like mm, you know so I, I just would say don't thank god it didn't get out of hand but because of that i me personally i won't do that anymore so yeah don't date your co-workers don't date your co-workers and don't go out with them either period point blank i know women we always like to make friends and hang out some people if you don't really have a thriving personal life you may look to the workplace to be dating around and making friends it's not it and also another situation i used to be friends with a home girl who used the workplace as her dating pool and that turned out very horrible for her because she ended up being known as the little job thought <sighs> chow she was always a target for one it made her a target for other women and then for men because they sought her out because they thought that she was easy and when you doing that it don't look good ultimately it just don't look good and it puts you in drama and even if you are an exceptional worker and your bosses and things they really do like you but because of this they can't put you in higher positions you ruin your chances at things like that so i'm gonna bring this one to a close but please y'all don't date them don't go out with them number seven last but not least control your emotions um some of us probably grew up a little underdeveloped we didn't really learn how to you know manage emotions things like that and we still learning so we have landed ourselves in some very unfavorable situations for not knowing how to control your emotions especially in the workplace and those things are not tolerated so just like with the stories that i was telling y'all a while ago people fighting at the jobs and things like that jobs don't play that you will be going to jail you will be getting terminated whatever their consequences are and it's not fun to face those things especially when sometimes those can go on your record so any spats that you have with co-workers don't let them get out of hand and don't let them build up my biggest problem used to be letting um Things that coworkers did that bothered me or things that they may have said that bothered me or offended me, you know, things of that nature. I would just let it build up. I'm going to ignore it. No, I'm going to be mature. But if you know that you are somebody that happens to have an attitude of a ticket time bomb, just go speak on it and make sure that you are documenting these things and keeping track of them. Because when if it does get out of hand and you don't have a track record, you're not documenting it and notice how other people always come ready for the fight and you just there with your fist and they there with guns knives they they got every weapon possible and you just there don't be that person looking stupid and when it's time to recall the situations and how you got to this point you so full of tension and frustration that you know you really look like the aggressor and you look like the crazy person because you let it get to this point when you could have just spoke on it when it happened or even if you needed a day or two to just kind of you know what calm down think about it but i'm gonna document it and then go bring it to somebody that's fine but i say if you are a person that has the attitude of a ticking time bomb one you need to be working on that because it's not going to be tolerated in the workplace at least for my young girls that is stepping into the the job fields and things like that or wanting to go corporate that's not going to be tolerated and two even when you do bring it to the higher-ups document that 
because what you will find is sometimes the higher ups be just as messy or worse than the co-workers and they may give you this oh i'm gonna do something about it we're gonna handle it and they never do document your conversation with them you need to document the place that these things happened at where um, things were discussed at and the time just all of that and a lot of people around the workplace will do things to try to purposely manipulate you and that's another thing with these different microaggressions from different co-workers um i've been in environments i don't want to make this too much of a race thing but i'm going to tell this example anyways but where there were more of a different culture and they were more dominant and they were the ones that was in higher up positions so sometimes you can feel that tension and things like that and mind y'all this is just an example it just don't have to be racially but this is just my most prominent example dealing with you know this um this bullet point and you have co-workers that will have these microaggressions towards you and will do things on purpose and they will express their disdain towards you or if they speak another language they will talk about you in your face and you will know because they'll be looking pointing laughing doing other little things but it won't be in front of you know any of the leads or anything like that but they know exactly what they're doing you have people and that's what i was saying in the other point that i will get to about energies in the workplace and stuff like that they some you will you will come across people that know what they're doing they will do it on purpose and if they speak other languages they will use their native language to do these type of things and mind you they may never directly come to you and express that disdain but you will know and sometimes as I get older, especially in the workplace, I try to challenge that and no, they're not doing this. Sometimes you're going to have to force yourself to be that mature because you have to pick and choose your battles. You can't be a tattletale about everything in the workplace. That's what you're going to realize. They don't have time to be dealing with children in the workplace and babysitting. Some, they going to leave y'all to y'all selves and let y'all work on it. Like, and if it gets to that point, somebody just going to have to get fired. You know what I'm saying? And if you care about your job or anything like that, or you got real bills to pay or kids to take care of, again, you're going to have to pick and choose your battles. And if it is something that you feel like is that bothersome to you, take it to a higher up because you will have these different microaggressions or people that will do things or speak on you in their native languages and, and do things toward you and you know. But again, like I say, Pick your battles and and don't don't let it build up either. If you a ticking time bomb, I would just say go ahead and take it. But if that environment is not going, to, if you don't feel like it's going to get better, or if you have took it to a higher up and it has not gotten better for you, and you honestly feel like this could lead to something bigger, unless you really care about your job enough to ignore it and just move on. Or find a way to get better at your job or move positions if you can. Um, it's best for you to find somewhere else to go. Honestly. And y'all know Gen Z and us millennials and 90s baby. We do not care about job hopping. Ain't nobody finna sit here and take this disrespect. And if we gonna be honest, baby, I, I, I used to be a job hopper too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just now kind of getting in the swing of being stable because you can't keep doing that too much because those things matter in the world but if it's not gonna work for you and you feel like this is a situation where you can show your true colors and take off that work mask or talk in a way that you wouldn't talk in that environment you need to get up out of there <laughs> you know what i'm saying get out there as fast as you can because you don't want to be in jail you don't want no case and you don't want no tickets. Some folks don't care about that, but I'm in a point in my life, I don't want to deal with that no more. I care about that type of stuff. So, yeah. Just get out of there, y'all. And, shoot. If it is that serious, don't be scared to get no lawyers involved. Shoot. I'll be the first. You got to learn to start playing the game because what you will find is some people know how to play the game in the workplace again different type of energy some people know they they read the employee handbooks they know the laws and things that they can and cannot do and how to get away with certain things and which is why i encourage folks especially my people educate y'all selves 
learn other languages if you can be reading them employee handbooks um educate yourselves on lawyers and what things you can take to court and things like that small claims court whatnot whatever educate y'all self so that things like this are not getting you tricked out of your spot getting you terminated or keeping you having to move jobs y'all better learn how this stuff go because other people don't be scared to play it against you so you, you better learn how to play back so you're going to find a lot of nice, nasty people in the workplace. They may, huh, huh, but you know. So I, I don't even want to get into that because I'll be talking about that all day. We didn't already spent long times on bullet points. But y'all, be careful with that and, and learn how to play the game back. And I ain't encouraging nobody to go to work and be on no weird stuff. But like I said, it's nice, nasty energies in there. And sometimes you deal with these things and you need to know how to handle it professionally i'm not on social media anymore but um when i my short time of being on tiktok there are um pages where they show you how to have workplace etiquette to express um conflict and things like that it's, it's so much out here and baby i'm a youtube university graduate you know i got that diploma from youtube university so y'all it's too much knowledge out here for y'all to be acting clueless. It's too much knowledge out here, too much information out here for the free, first of all. And some of these books are cheap. So don't let nothing be an excuse. It's too much knowledge out here. Knowledge is power, but it's only power when it's being applied. So that brings me to the end of my video. I hope this was very helpful for y'all and... Just stay strong in these workplaces, stay prayed up, and just pay attention to these things. Everything ain't got to be bad, but you go, you enjoy your job, you be the best worker that you can. And when you are having issues, just refer back to this video. And if somebody is having issues in their workplace, send them this video, y'all. But um, yeah, it's just like I said, go, be on your jobs, love your job, love what you do love your profession and i was told if you do what you love you never have to work so if you don't plan on being a worker forever then you need to be on your hustle and on your grind to where one day you can be the boss all right so with that being said i'm gonna wrap up this video and i'll see y'all in the next one Mwah.